and we're back. This is Stop Eating My Popcorn on Biz 99.9 FM Substitute Radio. I am Glenn Blank and I'm joined by John Smith and we have just come out of the theatres of the new Wonder Woman movie. So let's get first impressions. Did you like the movie, John? Uh, was it a good movie to watch? I thought it was okay. I definitely think it was um it was more than what I was expecting. I was uh, very worried that something really bad was going to happen and it didn't. So I liked it. All right. So um and this is a sp- we should include a spoiler warning. This is what might be spoilers in this what we're about to say. So f- first of all, in terms of a female lead character, I was pleased the Amazon warriors were not overly sexualized. They were shown to be very strong and skilled and very good warriors. And Wonder Woman was not overly sexualized. Um, I think she, when she was fighting, it was very well choreographed and it was very exciting to watch her fight. So I think as far as a female lead goes, it is miles and miles ahead of Lara Croft and um, Catwoman and um, any other female lead in an action flick. I agree. Some of the things that I had problems with were the characters. I didn't really understand what Diana's personality was. I mean, she liked fighting and she was a warrior, but I didn't understand what was driving her forward. And then when she, as she was going through her story, going through Europe, fighting, I couldn't figure out what, what were the tensions in her life, because, okay, if you've got someone like Superman or Batman, I can understand they have a mission in life that they want to achieve, and then they're faced with questions, you know, self-doubt, am I doing the right thing, and it's that struggle that makes their character interesting. I just didn't understand what Diana was going through, so I didn't understand, you know, what what makes her character very interesting. Uh, did mm. you did you get it? Yeah. I got I got that impression as well. And then also I thought like in her character she was really naive and that's kind of uh like uh 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 <laughs> Yeah. I think that that's a very big cliche in Hollywood, yeah. where you have a a woman who is very innocent, who doesn't understand things, coming into a man's world and having to have all these awkward things, like what is a toaster and what is love and like... Well, that well, stuff kind of made sense though, like, but we've, because we've she came it. from a completely different world and stuff. We've seen it before, I mean, like most of it is just ripped from the fifth element, I mean... Is there anything new? Anyway. Yeah, but I thought more like she was naive in the way that she believed that everyone was inherently good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was good. That was good. I thought, um, yeah, so you have to, like, you're, you're a child, you assume the best in everyone, and the coming of age to becoming an adult is actually learning that humans are imperfect capable of great good and great evil. Yeah, that, that that's definitely probably the, the best part of the the part of the best part of the whole movie probably. That uh, realization. Now the final villain try obviously if if the idea is to learn that humans are both good and evil, the villain, of course, is the idea that humans are completely irredeemably evil and it's just better to wipe them off the map. And that is not a new idea. I mean, you can go back to the first movie of the Dark Knight trilogy, where Ra's al Ghul says, Gotham City is irredeemably corrupt, so we're going to burn it to the ground and rebuild from the ashes. And so, in that sense, the villain isn't particularly unique, but I felt he was a convincing villain. I think he was interesting. (coughs) Did you, uh, did you like him? (laughs) 
I think um, the worst parts of the movie were probably the um, the innuendo stuff, uh, the particularly the sexual tension between Diana and Steve. I felt that most of those were very predictable and uninteresting and just like we've seen it all before it's not it's not interesting to look at it know? was kind of like as soon as they met you were like oh here we go yeah yeah but i am glad that steve died as a martyr <laughs> as, as a martyr rather than getting to some sort of awkward romance with diana like it's better to die a martyr than go through something awkward and prolonged and miserable. I know, right? It's yeah. pretty relatable. 